Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here at the 2023 edition of the Los Angeles Auto Show. And of course, Genesis going to keep bringing big things. They have it after we saw a concept of it not too long ago. This is it. This is your 2024 Genesis GV80 Coupe. But before we get into this slick sportback style crossover midsize SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. It's crazy to think that Genesis has been doing their thing since 2015. That has not been that long ago. Of course, a brand that was created off of a particular model known as the Hyundai Genesis sedan, eventually Hyundai wanted to take a page from the other auto manufacturers and have this premium experience known as Genesis. It all started with the G80 sedan, and now it has grown into sedans and crossover SUVs. But just a few short months ago, we saw the concept of this vehicle. Now we have this pre-production version, which is ready to be showing up at your local dealerships. But what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for a mid-size crossover SUV and you want luxury, you want some power, but you also want some unique style, is this GV80 Coupe the best way to go? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the dimensions. I really feel like the GV80, being a mid-size crossover SUV, has a nice overall size to it, gives it some true substance. Now at the front of the business, you're gonna find that unique Genesis style. I love the way they have the double stack LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and the way that they separate them with the body color really gives it that unique identity. Working your way down, you do have functionality with our corner air curtains, and you'll always find this diamond-shaped grille design. Everything comes to a point. Black chrome finish, and then as we come across the front grille, nobody does a large grille better than Genesis does. And like I was telling you, it comes to a point. So you're gonna have that dark chrome finish around the perimeter. I like the way they hid the forward-facing camera nicely up top. And then you see how everything comes to that point. In the center, they did a nice detail with these rectangular slots. And then on the bottom portion, same thing, full functionality with some of that dark chrome just to sprinkle it on the bottom. Now, as we rise up, love the hood. You have that nice dip in the center. And the way that it frames the Genesis badge does a really great job as it goes towards the windshield. Now, underneath the hood, you're looking at that twin turbo V6 pumping out 375 horsepower. They do have a version with an electric supercharger, puts out over 400 horsepower, 409 horsepower to be exact, with an eight-speed automatic. So we have some sporty look, but we also have some sporty performance. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working wheel and tire? 22-inch wheels, love the machined aluminum, gunmetal metallic gray, you're gonna have those massive six-piston calipers with the Genesis name etched in them. And of course, nice large rotors, all four corners to slow this vehicle down. Now, of course, besides the power underneath the hood, besides this having that all-wheel drive capability, they also fine-tune the suspension to give you a sporty ride, but also a comfortable ride. Tires, 265 on the width, 40 series sidewall, and like I said, 22 inch wheel. The other thing that I love from the side of the vehicle, it's all body colored. And this particular color looks spectacular under the show lights. Now, as we rise up, just like on your standard GV80, I love the way they do that step design with the fender into the hood. You're gonna have that unique style to our side marker lights. Very nice touch with the dark chrome. And then coming down the rest of the vehicle, color matched on the mirror caps, you got your 360 degree cameras. And then on the lower portion, same thing. It's the cohesive style of design. You don't have a bunch of different types of elements. Everything makes sense. We have our dark chrome here along the side skirt extension. And then even on the insides of the door handles here. So we have a little bit of a mixture, color matched with the dark chrome. From the side, you could see how they cut off the back of the GV80 to give us that nice, sleek coupe shape and design. Working our way towards our rear, this quarter window and how the roof line comes into the rear lift back area, very elegant, very classy. And then from the side, 
you could see how you have that slight fender flare coming into the rear tail lights. Now at the back, thank God Genesis didn't put a wiper here because this looks so clean, so sleek, coming off that low roof design over the glass and then just a little bit of kick up at the back portion just like the headlights you got your double stacked with the body color in the middle full led lighting like i said four wheel drive so we have that all wheel drive system genesis all the way across the back and then working our way all the way down we have functional exhaust not fake functional with the decorative trim rings on both sides of the vehicle but guess what it's not just about the outside wrapper I want to get inside and check out this GV80 Coupe. All right, guys, come on in to the lap of luxury Genesis style in this GV80 Coupe. Right away, you're just going to be blown away by the attention to detail, but also the different materials in here. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, what's the price on this? No official pricing yet, but stay tuned because we'll be bringing it to you. I'm going to be curious because we know that Genesis is aggressive with what they bring and what that end price is. But until we find out the price, let's see what you get to the door panels. Absolutely, simply seductive. The red stitching, that blue material really works well in a day and age where everything's black or tan. Nice to see some different colors. Aluminum speaker grill trim looks classy. And the way that they did the stitching, look at how everything flows. It like trickles down towards the bottom of the door panel. Door pocket, really good size. Obviously, you could get a small drink in there with your speaker grill cover located in that corner area. And then going from the door panel to the dash, same story. The stitching, that nice wood trim looks really great. As you slide in, I'm at the auto show. I can't turn on the infotainment system, but you have two nice large screens, infotainment and your digital gauge display. Our controls, real volume, knob, real AC controls. You got your start stop button that's easy to get to. And then of course our dual climate control with that wood trim, open up the door. What do we have? Wireless charging, two USB-Cs and a 12 volt. Close it up. Look how sleek that is. Two cup holders. This is your direct drive control knob if you don't want to touch the screen. And this is going to control that eight speed automatic transmission. Of course, we got a drive mode selector switch and you can lock the center diff with the all wheel drive system. And then of course, to open up the doors, little Bombay doors, you got enough room in here. You could easily keep that class ring. Remember that girlfriend you were dating? You kept her class ring, you could keep it in there. It's got felt lining, it's not gonna get scratched. And then the seats, these are amazing. The red piping, the diamond stitching, the nice bolstering, full electric assist for the passenger. Of course, full electric assist for the driver. You got that panoramic sunroof, Alcantara, and Red seat belts that's worth an additional five horsepower. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of this new GV80 coupe. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have two memory seat settings for the driver's seat. So if you want to let somebody borrow your GV80 coupe, you can allow them to do that. The sill, nice simple Genesis name. I am going to have to zonk it though. I wish it lit up LED like some of the other brands. Pedal box though looks great. Aluminum brake pedal, throttle and a nice size dead pedal, and I like the texture design there. Seat controls, you'll notice you have your massage seat setting, plus you have all your other controls to really get it perfectly set to your body type. More of that stitching and the piping. I'm six feet tall, I feel fantastic in here. And another thing is my hands are gonna feel fantastic because look at the steering wheel. I'm digging this light blue, this light navy blue leather interior, flat bottom, with the red stitching, not only around the rim, but also on the horn button itself. You do have gloss black, which look at all the fingerprints here. These are gross. I think somebody was eating Kentucky Fried Chicken or something in here. And you do have paddles to go up and down the eight speed automatic, electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then you have that large digital display for your gauge cluster. Stay tuned, we'll be doing the first drive, I promise. And then on top of that, you do have a head up display. But let's get in the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna be compromised on room in this GV80 coupe. All right, guys, back seat time. And I'm telling you right now, I don't know what type of magic they used, but you're not compromising headroom in here. I'm six feet tall, still very comfortable, even with this Alcantara headliner. And then you'll look on the backs of the seats. 
Love the material. Nice large pockets. You could easily put, I would say, six bags of Big League Chew. Lori loves grape Big League Chew. If you ever want to get Lori a present, get her a bag of grape Big League Chew. Speaking of Big League, you have this Big League command center, AC vents. You got heated seats, ventilated seats, dual climate. You do have a home power, uh, excuse me, two USB-Cs and a 12 volt. So they got you covered there. And I like the chauffeur seats because I can move the seat if nobody's sitting in front of me, I can move that way out of the way. Speaking of way, there's lots of ways to sit back here. I feel good right about here. Pull this down. Look, the stitching continues. Nice material. And I bet you this opens up. Watch this. You could put your Skittles in here and you could see the rainbow and taste the rainbow. One pound bag of Skittles. Just dump them in there. Two cup holders. Everybody, this is like the Oprah Winfrey show. Everybody gets a red seatbelt and amazing stitching. But while we go ahead, let's get to the last piece. Let's get in that cargo area and see how much room there is in the coupe. All right, guys, last piece of the puzzle. What I love is how Genesis hides the button to open up the hatch right there. We're going to hit that, get a little beep beep, a little blink blink, opens up. And what's great is even with that sleek roof line, the coupe still gives a very generous amount of room. We have the seats up for the uh, back seat area. You could fold those down and even go more intense. You just push that button. You have electric assist. Look at that. So seats going back on the passenger side. Seats going back on the driver's side. Lots of excitement around the Genesis GV80 Coupe. People cannot resist the excitement. But it's things like this that Genesis is bringing. Starting back in 2015 with just one model, the G80, now we have all sorts of sedans from the G80, G70, and of course the large G90. And then when it comes to crossover SUVs, you have that fully electrified GV60, the GV70, GV80, and now this GV80 Coupe. Nice to finally see it in this production style form. They really put their money where their mouth is, but let me know what you think. If you're looking for the best luxury crossover SUV that has a lot of style? Is this GV80 Coupe the way to go? Let me know in that comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Razor Rise family. Of course, we need to give it up. LG Rady working that camera like a champ. Thank you, Lori, for just digging deep and making it happen. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.